hello everybody so i was i was uh, developing a project and i was i had this error while connecting my sql server so i solved that problem and i decided to create make a video so node.js ms sql tds connection error failed to connect to localhost 1433 so let's solve this problem so these are the steps so this is how your uh, db config file code look like so that's uh, this is your localhost username password and this is the ip address we will um, provide to sql server this is a standard ip address name the database and this is dialect of so it doesn't matter if, it, if you are using other uh, databases you can say just uh, change this name so i'm using ms sql so I'm, i did ms sql here but if you are using mysql so you can just write mysql right here standard settings and this is my port okay so let's check out so what i did <coughs> okay so this is your code and after that it may ask for a tds package as well install tds package manually so how did i solve this problem so you can just go you can just search tds npm and it will show all the documentation here and i what i did i just run this command and it was perfectly fine after that and next step is to configure, configure sql server right so for for that we have to open a, go into the sql server configuration manager which is already open here right here and in that we will have to go into protocols for ms ser, sql server and you will you will notice this is this will be disabled at first so what you have to do you have to just enable and i have already enabled because my server is working and after that you have to go into properties ip address now this is important so you will notice there won't be any um, ip address it will be just a random string of characters so here what we have to do we have to provide ip address which is right here right here server right and port is the same so what we have, to, we have to just change this apply okay so it will it will show that it is working after that what what we have to do we have to uh, activate enable service sql browser service so service is already open so it will be disabled at first so what you have to do you have to just run it automatically okay and after that and uh, this is main uh, main uh, step so after doing all those steps what you have to do you have to restart your uh, services all the services otherwise if you will only enable this service it you won't see any you know um, difference so i would suggest restart all the services and there's one more one more important thing okay so instance name server instance name so what is it mostly a lot of students conf confused about this so what do we have to do we have to so this is your instance name server name is same as instance name you can just copy and paste it right there and it will, it will be fine okay so in my case uh, i did all those steps and my application is running perfectly so as you can see right here the message welcome to my application and we're running on it port 8080 let me show you here as well okay so you can see as you can see this this is this is just execution of table but as you can see server is running on 
Hopefully this helped and uh, I'll be making more videos if I have any problems with my application and hopefully it will help you in the future as well. Thank you so much.